let's be real. Transferring WhatsApp chats between phones feels like solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. You have got years of group banters, family updates, and that voice note you can't lose. But most tools either cost a fortune, demand a tech degree, or vanish your data mid-transfer. Enter iCare Phone Transfer. The app that cuts the chaos and lets you move chats, media, and even WhatsApp business and GP WhatsApp data wirelessly between devices. No cable, no PC, just Wi-Fi and a few taps. So let's dive in and see how you can transfer your WhatsApp chats and data from one device to another. Excited? So let's get started. You can download the app directly from the Play Store. I have left a link in the description down below. Once you open the app, you will notice that the interface is really clean and minimal. You will see three options for transferring data, WhatsApp, WhatsApp Business and even GB WhatsApp, which is pretty cool. There is also a tool section that lets you do things like download statuses, access direct charts and view your downloads folder. But for now, we will focus on the data transfer feature. Now I am about to transfer data from my WhatsApp Business account, so I'll click that option. From there, you will have three choices, transferring WhatsApp data from Android to iOS, iOS to Android, or from Android to Android. The iCare phone transfer app works with all major smartphone brands. Just make sure your Android device is running version 5.1 or later. The app is regularly updated to support newer operating systems, so you are covered there. Since I'm transferring WhatsApp data from one Android device to another, I'll choose the Android to Android option. Now before moving forward, first make sure your Wi-Fi and location services are turned on, and then click Start button. This step is crucial to ensure that everything transfers correctly. On the next screen, if you are sending WhatsApp data from your device, you will need to select the Send option and follow the prompts. Now on your second device, the one receiving the data, install the app and go through the same initial setup, but this time choose receive. The app will then ask you to authorize a folder where your transferred data should be installed. And finally, it will prompt you to connect the two devices. Now once the devices are connected, I recommend creating a fresh backup on your primary device, the one you are sending data from. You can do this by opening WhatsApp, going to the setting menu, selecting chat backup, and then creating a new backup. This ensures that you won't lose any chat or data as everything will be already saved. After that, return to the app and select the backup folder. Here you will have the option to choose different types of data to transfer such as audio, video, text, stickers and much more, which is a handy feature you won't find on any other tool. Simply select the data you want to move, click next and your data will be successfully transferred to your new device. Just keep in mind that using this tool requires a subscription to one of its paid plans and the details for those plans are provided within the app. So guys, that's how you can easily transfer your chats and data from your Android smartphone. If you have any question or run into any issue, feel free to leave a comment down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.